Hello everyone. Hello. Why is everybody looking behind? Okay, I think today is going to be more like a Bible study than anything else. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to be reading some out of the Bible here in a little bit. But first, um, I'd like to say hello to everyone. Tell you that we do have a web page, hazelwoodusa.weebly.com. And the reason it's such a long one is because Weebly, we haven't, um, I haven't, um, paid to get the to get the website, I could get it. It says it's available to just have hazelwoodusa.com. And I'm thinking about it, but I haven't done it yet because we have like five or six views a week. I mean, um, would it be worth would it be worth it to have spend the money is what I'm saying. If, you know, I don't know. We want to be good stewards with all that God's given us. We do want to reach as many people as we can for the Lord. And so that's very important. All of us do our part to fill the cart. Hello. <laughs> Hello to the ones watching. Um, 2022, see the light. You know, 2020 was vision, and this is like seeing it again. See the light. We believe 2022 will be a year to see the light, like in Acts 22. Saw, saw the light, and so can you. God created 22 things in six days, one of them being God said, let there be light, and there was light. There are 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet. 22 times light is mentioned in the book of St. John, etc. In Genesis 22, that's when God was given promises to Abraham. February the 6th, 2022. Our title, our theme within the theme is, It's Not Your Call. You know, we don't know. We don't know what God has in store, what he t does when we plant the seeds. We don't know what's going to happen. It's not our call. It's God's call. Some sow, some water. God gives the increase. God is large and He's in charge. Our job is to love, serve, and obey Him. And in doing so, He will lead, guide, and direct our paths. It is such a relief and a comfort to know that He knows the way that I take. He knows the moves that we make. He promised to never put more on us than we could bear. So many times we feel the, we feel the struggle from within that we're not doing enough. We always feel like we need to do more. We're not trying hard enough. That our efforts are in vain, etc. But it's not our call when, where, or how God can use us. It's our job to sow the seed and He is Lord of the harvest. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. When I when all I see is the battle, you see my victory. When all I see is the mountain, you see a mountain moved. And as I walk through the shadow, your love surrounds me. There's nothing to fear now, for I am safe with you. So when I fight, I'll fight on my knees, with my hands lifted high. Oh God, the battle belongs to you, and every fear I lay at your feet. I'll sing through the night. O oh God, the battle belongs to you. And if you are for me, who can be against me? Yeah, for Jesus, there's nothing impossible for you. When all I see are the ashes, you see the beauty. Thank you, God. When all I see is a cross, God, you see the empty tomb. So when I fight, I'll fight on my knees with my hands lifted high. O oh God, the battle belongs to you. And every fear I lay at your feet. I'll sing through the night. O oh God, the battle belongs to you. Almighty fortress, you go before me. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadow. You win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. And mighty fortress, you go before me. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. You shine in the shadow. You win every battle. Nothing can stand against the power of our God. So when I fight, I'll fight on my knees. With my hands lifted high, O oh God, the battle belongs to you. And every fear I lay at your feet. 
I'll sing through the night. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. So many times we think it's our our battle. We think we've got to fight and do and we do fight, but he fights through us. He fights using our hands and our feet and our mouthpiece. He says things come out of our mouth that we'd say, Oh, I didn't mean to say that. No, it's the Lord speaking through us. So I didn't know I was gonna I didn't know how all that was gonna fit together when we start doing these devotionals and things, but he helps us pick the right songs that somebody needs to hear. I just read the lyrics. We've got all these copyright infringement things now. We've got to be really careful what we do and what we say because we don't want to um, we don't want to harm anybody. Um, I say, if um, if we had to pick copyright on all the verses that we said out of the Bible or every song we wrote using Bible verses, you know, we owe God our whole lives. Everything everything should be centered around God and His will. So every song should be coming out of the Bible. Every every um, verse. Thy word have I hid in my heart, so I will not sin against thee. Everything. Give, all, give God all the glory for every song written. For every song, um, gospel song. Every song. Uh, give God glory for every devotional. He's the one that gives the inspiration. He's the one. Talk God be the glory. Good things he has done. Give God the glory. He fights our battles. He. He wins the war. It's the Lord's. I'm going to be reading out of Philippians 4 today, if you want to follow along. This is the King James Version. It says, Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved and longed for, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech you, Odeus, and beseech Sytyche, that they be of the same mind in the Lord. You know, it's very important that we all get one mind and one accord. Get that same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which are which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also and with my other fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. You know, it doesn't really matter if people know our name. It's just so our names are written in the book of life. Get our names written there. But we all pitch in. We're yoke. We're yoked together. Be not unequally yoked together. But if we all pull together, how happy we'll be. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Now I mentioned last week, so many tongues interpretations lately. So many messages from God. And he says, he is coming soon. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. You know, we don't have to be fearful. We don't have to be worried about the cares of this life. But by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. You know, I, I did hear something this week. I just now thought about it. But they were talking about how they were begging God to save a loved one. And God's like, why don't you start thanking me for saving them? Before it happens. You know, start thanking God. Give thanks in everything. Let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Or to think on the good things. You know, even in our time of hardships and grief, times of sorrow, you know, uh, I told you before, I'm pretty sure I told some of you before, that um, as I've been grieving for my husband and crying and just really just, you know, just beside myself, what do I do now, those kind of things. I felt the Lord impress on my spirit. It says, are you crying for Mark? If you're feeling sorry for Mark, well, that's silly. That's foolish. Because he's in a much better place. And if you're feeling sorry for yourself, then that's self-pity. Because I've got to trust in the Lord. Are, am I not putting all my trust in him that he's going to take care of me? He's going to provide. We gotta, we've got to think on the good things knowing that the battle is the Lord's. It's not ours. 
those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly, and that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. You know, if he orders us our step, I know one time I asked my mom, I said, you know, we was just making conversation. I said, if you could go back, is there some things you would change? And, you know, she said, yes. Because I think on our own we would, but then you got to think, no, if we pray every day that the Lord orders our steps, uh, we know that um, he's in control. He's in control, so no, we can't change things if we're, if we're living according to his will and his plan. You know, the only thing that some people say, I have no regrets, I have no regrets. But if I can change one thing, the only thing I would have done different is make my decision a little bit sooner. Now, yes, to live for the Lord. Live for the Lord. Make that decision sooner rather than later. I can do all things. I, I skipped a verse, I think. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. And I know during this time, January mostly, a lot of people have been on their prayers and fastings. Fastings, you know, um, sometimes we do without in order to have what we need. You know, we have to know how to be, we need to know how to suffer, to suffer for the cause of Christ. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Notwithstanding, you have well done that you did communicate with my affliction. <clears throat> now, I don't remember what the rest of this is, but I think pretty much that's what the part I was mostly wanting to read. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So when we're, at our, when we're at our lowest, He is strong. When I am weak, He is strong. And you can read the rest of that chapter if you want to, because I, I there were some words I wasn't sure how to pronounce, so I just kind of stopped. But, um, yes, all things through Christ. All things through Christ. The battle belongs to the Lord. Now, I have here on my tablet, if it will play, I left it long enough. This is my husband singing Daystar, but I'm going to read the words while I have him playing a little bit. Lily of a valley, let your sweet aroma fill my life. Rose of Sharon, show me how to grow in beauty in God's sight. Fairest of ten thousand, make me a reflection of your light. Hallelujah, Jesus. Day star, shine down on me. Let your love shine through me in the night. See the light, God's light. Leave me, Lord, I'll follow. Anywhere you open up the door. Let your words speak to me. Show me what I've never seen before. You know, we've got to have hungry hearts when we read the word. I want to be a witness. You can take what's wrong and make it right. Day star, shine down on me. Let your love shine through me. By the master of deceit. Hungry souls are groping in the darkness and are haunted by the years of past defeat. When we see Jesus, 
standing near us, shining with love and compassion in his eyes. Jesus, shine down on me. Let your love shine through me in the night. We've got to be willing to go through it. Let his words go to us. Revelations. See the light. See the light. Let your love shine through me in the night. Amen. That's Mark singing on our YouTube channel. It just says Mark Dash Daystar, and there's you can't see him because he didn't like to be on the thing. It's just on my backdrop back like there. But anyway, Daystar shine down on. Us. Let your love shine through me in the night. When the world looks at me, do they see Jesus? That's what's important. When the world looks at us, do they see? We have what they want. They, we have that peace that passes all understanding. We have that joy in the midst of sorrow. We have, um, you know, the world didn't give it to me and the world can't take it away. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing artificial about the Lord. He's real. Jesus is the real thing. If you tried everything and everything has failed, try Jesus. They said, men, and they said to Peter, said, What shall we do? Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's the light. That's the peace. That's the joy. That's the power. It's everything we need, that living water. We talked about that. That's what we talked about. Lord, I praise you in the midnight hour. Lord, I praise you when I don't understand. Lord, I praise you in the midnight hour. Every promise in your word is truth. Every promise in your word is truth. Lord, I praise you walking through a valley. Lord, I praise you trusting in your unseen hand. Lord, I praise you walking in my valley. I am trusting in your nail-scarred hands. Lord, I praise you up the rocky mountain. Lord, I praise you for your strength abides in me. Lord, I praise you up my rocky mountain. You have led me to the promised land. You have led me to the promised land. You know, if we follow where Jesus leads us, where he leads us, I'll follow. I'll go with you all the way. We're going to make it to heaven if we follow Jesus. Trust and obey in his ways, in his will, and in his timing. We're going to make it. It's not our call. He's not going to change the world to fit us. He's going to change us to fit what he wants us to be. We are his. He's the potter. We're the clay. He can mold us and make us into what he wants us to be. Well, God bless you. Y'all have a wonderful day. I hope this touched you a little bit. I'm doing this just because I feel that this is what I'm supposed to do for this time. And um, in, my, in my season of life. And I know a lot of you tune on because you love my husband. You love my husband, and I thank you for that. And I hope you always will because, you know, his song, I'm going to have it in here every week and, and share some of his singing and different things because, you know, our lives are not in vain. Prayers we pray are not in vain. So even when we're gone, it's still circling around the throne. We still, we still can make a difference. So let's keep on every day doing our best for the Lord because none of us know when our last breath might be. So let's live life in that more abundantly through Jesus. Amen. Love you all. Hi, Billy. Bye-bye.